game in the building, man. Kevin W. Reese, that's my dog. We holding it down. Straight up and straight down like the front door. Kevin W. W. Reese. Well, we're chilling with the game here. Me and the game, we, we go back, man. I, I met you before the documentary came out. Yeah. And you used to call uh, my show the Honor Idiot Show on Saturdays. Every time there was some controversy, you were on that line, man. Yeah. 300 bars. I remember when that came out. Classic. And uh, and then and then it was the Jay Z thing where you were you were uh, overseas, yeah. and and you hopped on stage and and I forgot what it was that you got the crowd to chant, but you did something. Yeah, I think it was just uh, fuck Jay Z and old ass nigga, but yeah, it's crazy. And I, and you know what? I might be you know I had a bunch of European white people saying fuck Jay Z and call him old ass nigga, which could have been the birth of creation. So I don't know. I might have did that. Now that I think about it, that could be my fault. Okay. So uh, I got to figure out a way to, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, f fix that. All right. And, and, you know, you used to call the show all the time, man. This is back at the sidekick days. Yeah. This is the T-Mobile, T-Mail sidekick yeah. days. That was a long time ago, man. It I, feels like it. Yeah, I haven't seen a side. Last sidekick I seen was uh, Seth Rogen and Green Hornet. And it, I was late on that one. I was about to say, really? T-Mobile pay? Because you know they did redo the sidekick. They did come out with a sidekick. Cool on the sidekick, man. And I, any if I hear a fucking shroom, I'm breaking your phone. <laughs> I don't, yeah, just don't have a sidekick, man. Pick a new phone. Okay, so we got the Red Album coming in a few weeks. What was the wait with the Red Album? Because you had that slated for a while, man. Yeah, I was um I was trying to um line it up with Watch the Throne and Carter Four. It was my ingenious plot, and I know you, you don't have to pat me on my back right now or tell me how, how you know genius I am or how smart I am, but yeah, that's what it was, man. I did a good job. I put it right, it landed right in between those. Guys. Now, hold on now. This is a good piggyback for me. Do you think the Interscope is too crowded with superstars? Too crowded? I'm, I'm the only rap artist on Interscope. Really? Yeah. Eminem's pop artist now, man. Like, he... You know, he's a legend. And Diddy, right? Diddy, yeah, Diddy's pop. And then, you know, Dre is I cut Dre is Dre, man. So right. think about the rappers, uh it, it ain't too crowded, man. I got a lot of room over there. Okay. The game it's official. The game is the only rapper on Interscope Records. Yeah, the biggest rapper. Biggest rapper, okay. Like when you're going from radio station to radio station and all that, you know, you're a controversial figure. Um do you think that sometimes the controversy outweighs the music when you're doing interviews and you know you kind of get asked the same questions all the time? Um, I don't think that deep. I just kind of go through life and just do what I want to do and it's just realize that it's just music, man. Everybody takes it too personal, too serious, man. Just lighten up, man. Chill. It's going to be all right. How many times have you been asked about the Uncle Otis thing over the last month? Uh, 80,000 times? Thousands, man. Yeah, thousands. And the only people I really, I didn't really take a shot at anybody in the song other than Creation and uh, probably probably Hove. But um, other than that, everybody else was, you know, little, it was just comedy. Like, you know, I just took the biggest songs on radio and kind of mashed them up and just was used them to, you know, get through my bars. Right. Now, speaking of Jay-Z, uh, what, is, what is it with Hove? Is it taking shots at the at, 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 at one of the top guys because you used to say you don't take shots at legends yeah, that was the old me, man that was the young me but i was dumb then you know what i'm saying I've, I've wisened up now i'm smart now the thing to do is take shots at legends and, and we've talked about it before in old interviews i mean you respect the hell out of jay as a rapper uh, so w what is it is it because he said your name on the blueprint album it's right here man it's the, let me just tell you this right here say you like all right let's just do this say you got Floyd Mayweather, right? He's equivalent to Jay-Z in yeah, boxing, yeah. Right? Right, right? You coming up in the ranks, right? Sure. Where, who do you want to fight the most? I want to get, get at Floyd. You don't necessarily hate Floyd. You're just you're a boxer, right? Yeah. And when you actually get a chance to fight Floyd, you're going to do your best to beat him, right? Absolutely. But, it, but it's still all love. And even on your road to the top, you haven't lost no respect for this dude. Sure. He's the best. That's right. So that's what it is, man. Okay. And uh, what was your reaction when you did hear hear that in Blueprint 3 and the intro song? Uh, man, I thought that was cool. I was like, damn. So, yeah, he respect me and he listening. So it was cool. It's just I don't take it personal, man. I'm pretty sure he don't, man. It's just it's the competitive nature of hip-hop. 
Right. And you got to respect that, man. But, you know, are you going to be dropping any bars that go over 100 anytime soon? Um, if anybody responds, and anybody, anybody, one person responds to Uncle Otis, there will be like a 600 bar, uh, uh, yeah, response. Okay, now that, that's a, that's another segue for me because um, I think Cannabis was the first guy, if I'm not mistaken, to put out 100 bars back in, my God, 2000 maybe, 99, something like that. Then you came with, was it, you did 100 and then 200 and then 300, right? Did you do four? Yeah, I did four. You did four. Yeah, four was crazy. And then, and then, and then, and then, cannabis put out another one with a thousand, and then he kind of bigged you up in the beginning. He said, "Game did three hundred, so I had to show people something." So it sounded like you inspired him. I don't know if you've ever heard it or not, because he's crazy underground, you know. Right. But uh, he he did do a, a thousand bars, so I always I always wondered as a fan. A thousand bars got to be like an hour long, though. What, what I mean? It's like thirty minutes, something like that. Oh, that's cool, man. But I, I got a lot of love. Cannabis, cannabis is like my like one of my brothers, man. Like me and him, he, we we you know we hang and bang in, in in my early days, man. But um, yeah, I gotta I gotta check it out. I I, I honestly haven't heard it, but I, I definitely gonna download it when I get to the hotel. I'm it's sure. called Poet Laureate Infinity. Yeah. yeah. So I just always wondered if Game ever heard that and Game ever said, I, right, you know, in the spirit of competition. You know what? I'm going to have to go 2,000 bars. And then anybody that tries to do that, they shit going to be so whack and repetitive, you're going to fall asleep. So they ain't going to be able to make it through. But I, I might I might, I might, might challenge that two, that 1,000 and go, or might just go 1,500. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just and see if he maybe he, you know, tries to run an, an extra lap. Yeah, yeah. It's just, so yeah. We, may have, we might have a nice underground mixtape type competition going here with bar if you put his fucking 1500 my 1500 then that that's the tape gonna run out you know you can only put so much time on a fucking cd so it's like you know what i'm saying <laughs> it can only be two songs on the shit if we do that that's dope man that'd be dope if that happens so um let's move topics a little bit acting where are you at with the acting everybody always asks that man and um i think that um that you know, since everybody always asks that, that I should maybe get back into it uh, and really, really take it all the way seriously and really start um, really going to audition for more roles. Because I swear to God, that's the most frequently asked question, um, the most frequently asked question and the one that really makes me think, like, damn, maybe I really need to get back into acting. Cause you, you did good, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. And, I mean, everybody that says that seems genuine. And nobody going to tell you. Like, you could tell somebody they're a good rapper and gas them, especially because that's what we do. But um, being a good actor is something that, um, you know, like I said, I just went in there and tried to do my best. I didn't think that I was doing a great job, but I knew I wasn't doing a horrible job. So sure. I would love to get back into acting. Now, do you think do you think that the face tattoo hurts as far as acting goes? Uh, do you think that could be a conflict? Nah, they got foundation for that. They'll cover that right up in two minutes. All right, cool. So, what what can folks expect from this red album, man? Expect it to be whacker than Carter Four and Watch the Throne, but buy it, man. It's game, you know. And the dude puts out, you know, he gave you three, you know, three other albums. I'm the guy that wrote the documentary, and I wrote 300 bars, you know. So, you know, when I finally put out a whack album, like, just still support me, man. Please, everybody, please, man. Thank now, you. Now, I'm assuming that you are so happy about the placement of this album with Carter, and and and. and thrilled you seem thrilled yeah no no man it's, it was like i said it was my ingenious plot man I, I wanted my album to land right between watch the throne and carter and i did it it's kind of like it, it it's really it, it's a really strategic process because if you ever seen like or ever been on a plane which i'm sure you have you know what i'm saying when it's time to land the pilot really sits up in his chair man and you know he got to land it right on the strip you can't be too far left or too far right or else you know something's gonna go wrong so once the land once you land that thing right in the middle then, you know, everybody just takes a deep breath, unbuckles their seatbelt, and then, then, you're safe. All right. We got some personal records on this album, like Start From Scratch and, and, and things of that nature. Man, ain't shit on this album. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, man. This album is a fucking dump. Because it's in between Carter <laughs> And well, look what look what I'm up against, man. How you know? How the fuck can you put a uh, second grader up against John Wall? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can a how can an infant uh, beat? Kimba Walker, you know what I'm saying, in basketball. It's just shit, certain shit just ain't gonna happen. And you don't, if you're looking for the red album, be better than Carter Ford, watch the throne, and fucking look over, look over the hill, because that's it, the red album is not it. <laughs> Last question. In your opinion, who's the greatest rapper of all time? Total package. Skills, sales, 
the whole the whole nine. Everything wrapped into one. Who's the GOAT? Jay Z. Yeah. Honestly. Where's M? Right above Jay Z. Because you said all time, but that's not like infinity is the end. So the greatest rapper infinity all time is Eminem. But Eminem and Jay go hand in hand, man. It's just, you know, you can't say Jay without saying Eminem because they're both collectively uh, great artists. They've sold. They've, oh, they, they got it all. They, they got it all, man. They got the money. They got the, the, the swag. They got the fans. They got the legacies, man. They two, two good, two amazing artists, man. Do you, do you think Jay is a little bit ahead because of the consistency with well, the 12 I'm albums? Sit here and tell you that Jay is ahead of Eminem, so you can make somebody mad. I'm no, Eminem's probably somewhere in Detroit, chilling, like not tripping, and you want me to piss Eminem off so he can come fucking kill you and me? <laughs> like a hitman? Nah, I'm good. You want me to say something about Jay? I will, but I ain't fucking with him. Why not M though? M's good. He's that good, right? He's really fucking good. And when he get to, I can't tell you what it really is. You, your ass is scratched, man. Where's Nas in there? Nas is like... Uh, Top five? Number three. Nas is number three specifically because he just is chill in the background. If Nas really wanted to be number one and number two, I think it would be an easy feat for him. Cool. Love talking hip-hop with the game, man. Always fun, man. Yeah, man. Always fun. It got to be fun, man. Like People take this shit too personally, man. Why don't y'all relax, man? Music ain't the biggest thing in the world, man. Yeah, it is, but still relax. Come on, we were just talking about 2012, man. We were just talking about people dying, man. Yo, man, I got to go, man. I got to get to my kids, and I got to pack my sleeping bag and all my fucking canned beans. We out of here, man. All right? <laughs> peace. Walk with peace. Kevin W. 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 Rich.